Greetings and welcome back. We're playing Distant Worlds Universe. Okay, so this episode is going to be nothing but uh, ship designs. So if you're not really interested in any of that, you can safely skip to the next episode because I get the feeling this is going to be at least a half hour. So for those who do want to get into this, we'll, uh, well, I guess we'll get into it. So we're not going to look at anything out here. We're just going to come right in and get going on this. Uh, there's been some really good advice on ship de designs, which I'm going to try and implement this time. Um, and at the end of it, if you see something that you're questioning or you think I could maybe improve something a little bit on any of these designs, then definitely give me a shout, uh, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see about maybe at the beginning of next episode adjusting a few things based on the comments. Uh, I'm not really the best at ship designs. I haven't really sat down and done a whole lot of math on it or anything, so I just sort of play, play off my wing and uh, just try to do the best I can so I don't really get too too nitty gritty into all this stuff but uh, I guess maybe in this game it's about time we did that so let's get started we'll just hit auto oh 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 hang on hang on hang on okay uh, I just gotta go adjust something here uh, I was playing my collaborative game earlier and I left all my automation settings on yes I did so let's turn those off so we're back to manual and and click that off as well Okay, so we're back to manual. And resume playing, and we'll back into our designs, and we'll do this again. Auto retrofit, or auto upgrade, does nothing. So we don't really have any uh, new components or uh, tech or anything to add to these ships. We're just going to be tweaking out what's here already, I guess. So we'll manually upgrade. So we're on to Mark 8s at this point. Okay, so this is our escort, and basically my idea with these is just to have a lot of punch, just to scare off whatever we can. Uh, whether we destroy or not really isn't my concern. My my concern with these is just uh, getting some good damage in and getting the, the enemy to run. So that's what the rail guns are on this for. <clears throat> now there's been some discussion in the comments uh, about the cruise versus sprint. And you sort of got to mold your ship around what you want them to do here. So for this particular design, as you can see, we have uh, weapons that are pretty close range. So we need to get up to the target quick and uh, fire our shots and get out quick as well. So uh, the best thing to do is to make sure we at least have enough energy for the sprint. Okay, so uh, for this particular design, we're going to have 79 and 65, which is what, 84, uh, yeah. So uh, we're definitely within the excess energy output on this uh, particular design, as it sits right now. Now, we still have 100 size to work with here, too. So I probably shouldn't get into looking at too much of this until I tweak this out a bit more. And I think I'm like I'm still liking the rail guns. So I'm uh, going to add a few more of those. I might actually add an ion cannon to this as well, just to sort of uh, disrupt the, uh, the engines and the uh, weapons on the, the enemy ships. So I'm going to add at least one of those. And we already have a graviton beam, and they're pretty effective, I think. I wonder if I should add a second one. That brings us up to almost 100 firepower, which is pretty much where my target was. Uh, about a little over 100 firepower for these ships now is what my target is. And uh, let's just make sure we have plenty of fuel. Uh, we might end up having to put another reactor on. In fact, I'm guessing we probably will. Yeah, we're, at, and we're like at 170 uh, if you're factoring in the sprint. So I think we'll just do that right now. Make sure we have enough power for this. That's more than enough power. Okay, so we should be able to sprint and fire no problem. Uh, from what I'm understanding is, yes, you can fire under sprint, but uh, for the most part, you do most of your firing under cruise. But in this situation, because we want to sprint up to the enemy and fire shots, then we want to get there quickly. So 28 sprint is actually pretty good. Unless I can maybe beef that up just a little quicker. Let's just have a look at what we can do here. 30, 32, now we're going to be 75, so we're still within. Uh, we want to make sure that our total of uh, maximum weapons, shield recharge, and this sprint energy usage is all uh, under the excess, which we are for the moment, until I put more stuff on this, of course. Uh, 32 sprint, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, now, directional, we definitely want to turn, uh, tune this up as well. 
because that that makes a difference when you're turning to sort of run away. This is this these are the engines that turn your ship. Uh, the main proton thrusters fire your ship forward, where the thrust vectors help you steer and all that kind of stuff. Steer and turn. So maybe we'll hop that up a bit. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what percentage I should go to here, but I'm guessing more is better. Uh, I'm guessing if as long as we're into the thir uh, into the double digits, we're fine. I don't know whether we should maybe aim for 20, maybe. Uh, that's something you can let me know in the comments, maybe. Um, okay, we'll go with mid-range, like 16. Okay, so uh, I think we're still doing pretty good. And we got damage control, and, all, and I'm not going to worry about fleet countermeasures on this design. I'll wait for like it, the cruisers or something for that stuff. And I think we got everything else that we actually need. So this is going to be a nice, quick, peppy ship. With that. I wouldn't mind just a little more firepower on that, though. Maybe we'll just throw another railgun or two on here. 111, so we're at 490 now. And maybe bring up the armor a bit to 200, which leaves us 7 left. And what could be used with that 7? I wonder if I should put Hyper Deny on these. Uh, not this design. Uh, again, I, I just want to hurt them so they'll run away. That's the idea behind this design, so I don't think I'll worry about that. And we've got a prof uh, proximity scanner. So, um... So we got seven left. I could put another railgun on. That would just fit. Yeah, why not? There. Heavy on the railguns for this design. So that's uh, that's a pretty damaging ship. A 118. It's got graviton beams, which does a lot of damage. And uh, yeah, I think we'll go with that. 200 armor, 720 shields. And we're at a little. Just a little above static energy with our energy collection, but I think I'll just go with that. That's fine. Okay, so I guess I'll leave that as a design. Um, like I said, leave comments uh, if you think something should be tweaked up a bit. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty good, though. So we'll save that one. And can we auto-upgrade anything on that? Nope. So we'll manually upgrade. Okay, so this is my boarding vessel. <clears throat> I've been toying on the, with the idea of what do I actually need a dedicated vessel for this, for, for the assault. Because if I put one or two uh, assault pods in like every ship I have or something, then uh, they all gang up and they, the accumulation of all the assault pods will actually take down a ship. But I do kind of like having a dedicated boarding ship. So I guess we'll just maybe uh, tweak out this design as well. Okay, so we got combat target and all that. I'm not going to put fleet stuff on here again. Um, these will exist in fleets, but I think I'll just uh, put those on my bigger ships. And again, we don't want anything that's going to actually harm the ship. If we want to capture it, we want to do as the least amount of damage as possible. So we just basically want weapons that will uh, concentrate on shields. I've got point defense on this, right? Yep. Um... Ion cannons would be, I like tractor beams too, I gotta research those. Uh, tractor beams I usually put on these, then you can pull the ship close and board it. But I think ion cannon will be a good addition. Actually, I didn't even say two of those. Okay, so I, once again, this is gonna have to get really close. So we wanna have good sprint on it. And I can see we already need a reactor. So I'll throw one of those on. Okay, that's okay for now. I get the feeling we might need another one, but we'll see. So yeah, this is going to be uh, depending on the sprint speed, I think. And we already have 100 firepower on it, and 276 boarding. And I got two ions. Um, yeah, we got to get close in to uh, board the ships anyway, so putting a longer range weapon on this, eh, probably not the best idea. So I think we'll stick with the short range stuff like Max's blasters is fine. Uh, Graviton beams does damage uh, through the shield, so we don't want that. Uh, don't want rail guns. Yeah, I'm going to avoid the area weapons for now. So yeah, I think that's all I'll do for this. And we'll uh, concentrate on the sprint speed again. 
So we 4600 firepower, which is actually really good. I don't know whether I want to actually tweak this out a whole lot more. More Maxis, I guess, another handful of those. There, 130 firepower. That'll take the shields out really quick. But more boarding. I'm not sure whether I want more boarding. Oh, just for the sake of we improved it sort of thing. I'll put one more on there. <laughs> Uh, again, these got to get quite close and personal to actually do their attacks. So maybe some more shields. There, 720 on this design as well. It will hop up the armor as, as well. 1, 2, 3, 4. Bring that up to 200. 130. Uh, am I forgetting anything? I think we got all the basics. Yeah, I don't see much else I could put on this. Again, leave a comment if you do see something. I think we're pretty good. And we got seven space left. So I think we'll just throw another Maxis Blaster on here. There. Okay, so 498. I'll top it off with a couple more pieces of armor and we'll call that done. Okay, so we'll save that. And this is our missile boat. And no auto upgrade on that, so we'll go manual. Okay, now, this design... Um, I'm thinking I am, I'm almost going to make two destroyer class ships. I'm going to make one with uh, missiles on it and the other with epsilons on it. Uh, the main reason is because the epsilons have a pretty heavy drop-off range as the further the, the uh, torpedo goes, the less effective they are. So they lose three damage per hundred distance. Uh, if you look at the missiles, they don't lose anything per hundred distance. So I think what uh, people like um, Zachary and that in the comments were saying is uh, because these are such drop, uh, such they lose a lot of damage per distance, make sure this ship is actually at point blank and just load it with Epsilons. And it was suggested not to mix the two, so that's why I'm going with uh, maybe two different designs for these. So I think we'll do the missile one first. So I'm gonna just wanna pull the Epsilons off. And we got point defense. Um, let's make sure we got all the good stuff here, such as combat targeting, countermeasures, basics, yeah. Uh, damage control, good. Okay. Um, so let's make this one uh, missile heavy. Um, yeah, this one will will probably depend on the cruise because we're going to actually put this to standoff for this ship, and actually we don't want to invade. So we're going to go standoff with this. That way it'll hit, it'll sit out at the maximum range of the missiles and just pepper away. So we'll put some more missiles on that, like five of them. So that gives us 54, another 5, 84. Um, point defense, we got 3 already, which I guess is fine. Um, yeah, maybe we'll hop up the shields on this one as well. Yeah, armor's fine where it is. And so we're going to be concentrating on 24. Make sure we at least get the 24 crews. And it looks like we're pretty good for power. And I still have some space to fill. So, um, I guess we'll just stick with missiles. This will be a missile boat. I'll rename this actually to missile boat. Sounds good. Okay. And we'll throw some more missiles on it. And how's our power? And getting close. Okay, 136. That's a little over. Well, 156, 160. Oh, it's pretty close. We'll just go with that. Actually, maybe what I'll do is I'll pull one missile off, maybe. That's pretty low cruise, too. Although these don't really need to cruise that fast because of the range of the weapons, so... Um, so 
that's 140, 162. That's pretty. That's pretty close. You know what? I'm going to leave it like that. It's pretty down to the wire. I think we're 0.4 over or something, but uh, I think we're going to go with that. I don't know whether we get any play with the fire rate. I know this only fi these only fire once every three seconds, so I don't know whether we get any play in the maximum per second or not because of that. But I think we'll leave it. I still got five space. Um, not sure what to do with it. Oh, put one more point defense on it. Maybe a couple more pieces of armor. And there we go. And I did have a comment of why my escorts are just as big as the rest of my ships. But uh, as we progress and these get up into the eight, uh, 800s, thousands, that sort of thing, these escorts, I'm guessing, aren't going to get much bigger than they are right now. Um, these are actually a bit heavier than I normally run with. But just, just because of the difficulty level. So these will start, uh, this size will start widening out uh, between the uh, different designs at this point. Okay, cruisers I really haven't done anything with yet, so this is going to be interesting. Oh, we want to make another destroyer, actually. So we're going to copy as new. I might have to unobsolete the old one, but yeah, we'll copy as new, the missile boat. And what should I call this one? This one's going to have epsilons on it. I'll put an epsilon boat. There we go. And not very original, but it'll work. It's functional and still a Mark 8. Okay, so let's pull all the concussion missiles off of this. Okay, and we will fill it with Epsilons. And right while well, it's on my brain, let's put this to point blank. Because we want to get as close as we can, so we're firing... Uh, we're not losing too much damage, uh, not getting too much damage loss in the fire. That way, uh, if we're nice and close, then we shouldn't lose too much damage. Okay, so we're at 480, so maybe I'll put, uh, how's our power? 30, oh, yes, maybe I'll throw another reactor on this. Because we want to go with sprint speed on this one. Okay, so, and we're oversized by two, that's not a problem. Okay. I'm still missing a source of carbon fiber. I'll have to check on that next episode. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, that's not looking bad. 110 firepower. So these will get in nice and close. And we've got here 193, 195-ish. Yep, no, we're good. Okay, so we have two destroyer classes. Save. But they're not going to show up here unless I... Latest designs. Latest non-obsolete designs. There we go. Yep, there they are there. Missile boat and Epsilon boat. And neither one are... Uh, ooh, what's this? Oh yeah, that's on automatic. So neither one of them are uh, automated or uh, obsolete. So that's what we want. Okay. And I'm just going to go back to latest buildable just so I can keep track of what I'm doing. Okay, cruiser. Let's uh, auto upgrade. Nope. Manually upgrade. Okay, so cruisers. I think I will put the fleet stuff on the cruisers. Make sure I have at least a couple of cruisers in each. Uh... Oh, I don't even have the regular targeting and everything. Okay, yeah, I don't think I've used this design yet, so I got to tweak it right out. So we'll put the fleet stuff on here as well. Damage control. And looks like we need another energy collector. Actually, I never looked at those in the other designs really hard, so I should maybe go back. Thrust vectors, I wouldn't look. I'm gonna have to go back through these designs a bit. Uh, okay, now what is the role of this ship going to be? I might put these heavy on ionize. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it an ionizer, and we'll pack it with the ion weapons. Okay, already got 461. Well, they can handle five. Not really. Uh, what else does this have on there? Missiles. Well, maybe I'll rip the missiles off. That'll save some space. 
OK. And that leaves us 148, which is actually pretty good for firepower. Now we still need point defense on this. OK. A little heavier with the ions. 188 firepower. Nice. Now let's get some engines on this if I can fit them. Make it a little quicker. And maybe some thrust vectors as well. Sort of get to the mid teens if I can. Okay, but this one is probably going to rely on sprint. I'm thinking. Now, I wonder what the range should be here. I don't think standoff. I should go point blank. They're just all weapons. Well, we'll try point blank. This, this stuff can be changed on the fly, too. If it's not working out, I can easily change it, so it's not a big deal. Uh, we won't be invading, and 20% is fine. Okay, so we're at 501. We're a little over. Um, oh, we need another reactor, too. Okay. And I wouldn't mind hyper deny as well. And can we build capital ships yet? Well, we can. Oops. Nah. Just lost my design here. It's probably right at the bottom. Um, don't mind me while I derp around here for a minute. Okay, well, we definitely need another reactor, so let's not uh, procrastinate about that. Let's get the just get that done. Yeah, that just sort of gets us there. Yes, I'm way overpowered here. Or over outfitted, however you want to say. So maybe get a couple of these off. Maybe I'll take some mild uh, axis off. Okay. Don't want to take too many off though. I do have to maybe okay, let's take another ionizer or ion cannon off. That now leaves us 11, <clears throat> which is still low on power. Uh, 201, 281, yeah, we're still low on power. I'm going to need another reactor. Size 22, of course it is. Well, firepower keeps dropping here. I haven't even hopped any uh, shields or anything up yet. Um, might be a little soon to be designing these very heavy too. Um, I think 600, you, you tend to start getting a little better design on the cruisers. Well, I think I'll just take another... <laughs> I'll take another blaster off. And yeah, we're still six over. Oh man. Well, maybe I can live without an engine. There, I can live without an engine. Okay, so put one armor back on. Um oh, way overkill on the power now, of course. <sighs> All right, take one off. 268. Yeah, it's pretty close. And if I put anything else back on, it's going to put me over. Yeah, sort of getting these catch-22 situations here. But what I could do, maybe, is hop up a uh, shield and armor, maybe. That will make too much of an impact. So 488, that's 720 on that. Okay, 200, 210 shields actually. Uh, 182. That's pretty close. I think we'll go with that. Uh, two left. I'm not. Well, I guess I could throw some armor on there. There. So 230 in armor. Uh, 
I got the fleet countermeasure stuff here now. Fleet targeting. Okay, I guess I'll call that a design. So we'll save that. It's not as powerful as I want it, but. Oh, let's rename that actually. Oh, let's go back to latest buildables. There we go. I thought I didn't change the name, but I did. Okay, so now capital ship. I'm not even sure whether we'll even get to do any of these. I'm sure it'll be oversized by the time I'm done. It doesn't even have armor on it yet. So I'll just put the standard stuff on it and we'll probably won't be able to build these right away anyway. So I'm gonna go 600 shields. And we need hyperdrive, all that kind of good stuff. Hyper deny, oh, that's what I wanted on those two. I'll put it on this one. I wanted that on my cruiser. Well, I might go back and revisit all these. We're at 25 minutes for this episode already, so it might be like a 45-minute episode. Um, I'm not going to do bases this time. I think we did those somewhat uh, recently, so uh, maybe a different episode for that. But yeah, there's. Uh, yeah, I need all this stuff. There's no way I'll be able to even build this. We're already over almost 600 size. And I haven't even started to tweak this thing yet. So I think I'll just save it like that. I'm not going to worry about to concentrate on this too much until we're ready to use them. Yeah, we're already at 600. So I need another uh, level on that research before I can even build these. So we'll just leave that for now. And of course that dropped off our list. So we'll auto upgrade these. Nope. Um, so you've got combat targeting uh, and countermeasures, which is fine. Uh, we're going to need more troop space. Oh, I already got these at 800. Um, might go to 1,000 on those. And then just hop up the shields and armor, make sure our uh, speeds are up. We have lots of reactors. So let's uh, do the armor thing. Lots of armor because these have to come into the planets and they're probably going to be fired on as they do so. So we'll make sure we have lots of shields and armor on these. They're almost a thousand uh, shields. And we'll put another couple of troop compartments on here. So a thousand troops. So that'll carry five armored or ten uh, infantry. So that's pretty good. I, I generally don't go any more than that. There's no point. Uh, if I need more space, I'll build more uh, transports. Now, question comes whether I should arm this or not. If I put, if I take the firepower right off of this thing, it's going to make it the last target the enemy goes for. They're going to go for the stuff with the higher firepower first. So I think this might be a good idea to get the uh, missiles right off of this thing. Just go with point defense. I'll actually put more on. And just enhanced armor or uh, big shields and better armor. And I think we might be okay with this. Um, we definitely want to be able to go maximum speed too. Well, just to be on the safe side, let's throw another uh, reactor on there. So we should have lots of speed, lots of armor, lots of punch. Well, no punch, but uh, lots of defense. And that's all we'll do with that, I guess. Okay, the carrier. Auto upgrade does nothing, so we're up to date on most of this stuff. Uh, again, I think I'm going to pull the missile off of that. And we'll add more point defense. And these are set to evade, so they should just launch their fighters and sort of sit back and not do anything. Uh, zero firepower again will make them a lesser of a target. I think, I don't know, maybe the AI just sees, oh, look at all those fighters, you better take the carrier out. So I don't know whether they think that way or not. Uh, power looks fine. Maybe some more fighter bays. Just uh, put one or two more of those on. Okay, that blows out our uh, static power. So we'll put another energy collector on. More having life, oh man. <laughs> It's a vicious circle. You add one thing, you ought to add 10 more. Okay, so 28 fighters. Um, 
You know what? Add one more. And we're oversized, so I guess we won't add one more. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think 750. Was that 750 your size? Yeah, 760. So I still got 50 left. Oh, wait a minute. Did I read, misread that? Oh, 750. Okay. All right. So, 750, so we still got 40 to work with here. Um, I don't know whether I need to do anything with it. Oh, maybe we will just uh, increase the shields and the armor again. Oops. There we go to 300 on the armor. There. I think that's all we'll do to this. Cruise is kind of crappy. Uh, it's not a big deal, though. They just want to launch. Uh, they should be able to turn quicker, though. Uh, I do have to go back and review all these uh, designs here. There, that should get them turning somewhat quick. Because basically you want them to turn quick so they can warp out. Um, if it takes them a long time to sort of turn around to get their warp going, then uh, that's a bit more time that you're getting shot at. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't throw a few more engines on that. I'll just try that. Or at least get it into double digits. And we're way over. Of course we are. Uh, eight. Hmm. Well, let's take ten of these off. Uh, still a single digit, but I guess we'll just live with it. Uh, it should be fine. Okay. No, yeah, we'll go with it. And I'll review all the comments before I actually start the next episode. That way, if anybody says I missed something or didn't put enough power on something, I can fix it before we get going. Uh, auto. Now, what was said about uh, resupply ships? Um... I think they said I went a little crazy on the fuel capacity here. Eh, 22,000. Um, I think we can go to 1,500 now for full size on the uh, resupply ships. So we do have lots of room now. And I would, I was just going to say I would like a long range scanner on it, but it looks like I already did it. And point defense epsilons. I wonder if I should throw another area weapon on these. These are generally out by themselves anyway, so area weapons probably aren't that bad of an idea. Yeah, I'll throw a couple on there. Unless, of course, I got a fleet around them being refilled when it gets attacked. That would be the downside there. Definitely going to need another reactor. Um, I don't think I need to look at Sprint for these, actually. No, we'll just go with cruise, as long as I have enough cruise energy. Um, now, mixing these, uh, I might actually take the concussions off and add more epsilons. Um, yeah, I think I will. So let's take the uh, missiles off. Now, I mean, they're pretty good. Uh, damage six, but they don't lose any of their uh, punch on the way out. They don't get any damage loss. Or Epsilons do. But they have a damage of 11. So I'm going to assume that anybody coming at one of these resupply stations intends to either board it or destroy it. So they're going to come right in close to do it. So if we have sort of a mid-range weapon on it, I think we'll be fine. So let's pull the concussions off. And we'll stuff some Epsilons on. I don't know how many, but... 204 firepower. Um, so we can go to 1500. Yeah, we're going to need another reactor for sure. Okay. Um, I'm almost wondering if a fighter bait wouldn't be good on this thing. It's big space, but we got lots of space. And I only build maybe, I don't know, four of these, five maybe. So it's not like I'm going to have a fleet of these things out there. So be, so if I go a bit more expensive on these, I'm not too overly concerned. 
That'll give it four fighters. A little bit extra punch. Yeah, I think I'm liking that. Maybe get some more shields on it. Uh, it's just that these will be deployed, and if they get fired upon, it takes 30 seconds for them to undeploy, so... Yeah, we'll get it over a thousand shields, I think. Okay, I think we're probably all right there. Uh, all weapons... Yeah, I think all weapons is fine, even though I only have one type of weapon. Well, I guess I got area weapons, too. Okay, we'll go with that. And explorers. Now, I do have two types of explorers i got to deal with here. Um, okay, so the, the drop... Sh or not the drop ship. Uh, we have the eye spies and the navigators, which are just our basic uh, explorers. I'm almost wondering if I even need to do anything with those. Uh, these guys are out exploring. They're doing, doing a pretty good job. The Ice Spies I just actually designed not too long ago. Like last episode. So they probably don't need to have much done to them. So I might just leave those. Uh, colony ship... Uh, I might leave that as well. And yeah, maybe we'll just have a quick look at the design. Uh, I don't think we need too much else on here. I don't think it was too long ago I, th I threw this design together either. So I think we'll leave the colony ship as well. Uh, construction, I don't know whether I need to do much with that either. It looks like I still have a bunch to upgrade uh, from the last round anyways. Ooh, a little underpowered though. Okay, well, maybe you need. Yeah, maybe we'll uh, upgrade that one quickly. Put another reactor on it. And, of course, now we need more uh, cargo. There we go. Okay. Uh, I think that should be good. I don't think we really need to do too much else to that. Okay, so we'll save that. Okay, so that's all the military ships done. I see we're at 37 minutes. Um, private ships, uh, I think I just went through those not too long ago. I'm not going to really worry about those. I think I put an extra cargo bay on everything. At least I think that this is the game I did that in. <laughs> it's kind of hard when you're playing three or four different games of this. Um, I think I did that. So I'm not going to worry about those. Uh, bases, uh, let's try, try an auto upgrade here didn't do anything so there's really nothing really to do there unless I want to just maybe uh, utilize the new size maybe um, I haven't even built the star base yet that I designed last episode so yeah we'll leave the bases so maybe what we'll do is let's just take one more wander through here just quickly just to make sure I didn't blow any uh, static energy out or anything right, okay that looks fine now I did I did the uh the the thrust vectors on this design. The other ones I didn't though. So I just want to double check on those. So I didn't do anything in here, that's fine. Edit. Yeah, that one's still a bit low. We're at five hundred. Um it would be nice to have a bit more thrust vector on this, I think. Okay, so that puts a six over, which we can probably just pick on armor. Okay. And I think everything else looks fine. Ooh, no, it doesn't. Oh, it's a good thing I came back in here. I almost need another reactor on this. Actually, I do need another reactor. There's no, it might, might be about it. Oh, well, that sucks. Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll take one of the ion cans off. That frees up 12. Which means I'll only have to come up with another uh, 10 to fit this on. And where can we pick that up? Uh, shields are 10. I don't really want to pick on those too much. Cruise is really crappy too. Okay, well we're kind of overkill on the Maxis anyway, so let's pull a couple of those off. That gets us into size. 182, um, 
Yeah, no. Oh, now I don't need the reactor again. Um, yeah, we want to go with Sprint. I guess I do need the reactor. Uh, 82, 3. Yeah, I do need that. Okay, we'll put it back. Thought I could do without it, but I guess not. Okay, so I guess we're okay here. Uh, I did want better engines, though. That'd be nice, but I gotta lose 21. Oh man, that would be very nice, but just don't know whether I can do it. Well, I could lose one of these. I'll lose two of those. Maybe three. Back to 184, which is our original boarding assault strength. But it's quicker. Yeah, I'll put three more pieces of armor on it. And again, these generally don't live by themselves or in fleets anyway, so you'll have the combined 104 of each ship and the combined 184 of each ship as well. So I'm not going to be too concerned about that. Okay. So, it's a good thing I came back and looked at these. Uh, 2418, 162, I did it again here. Oh, man. Uh, but this one, I wasn't concerned about the sprint speed. I was more concerned about this. Which is just within the realm of maybe acceptable. No, I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm sure somebody will comment on it if they think it's a bad idea. So. Now a cruiser, uh, 48, uh, 268, that looks fine. Okay, that one looks good. And troop transport, just double check that one. Okay, for oh, big time, not a problem. Okay, carrier. Okay, should be fine there. All right, and resupply ship we just did. And I think I got that. Yep. Okay. Okay, I do believe we are finished. But like I said, if you have any comments or you think something's just off on one of these designs, let me know and maybe I'll fix it up before we get going on the next episode. But uh, yeah, it was a bit of a daunting task. So now when we go to come in and build destroyers, we should have two separate designs for those. And we do. Missile boat and Epsilon boat. So we'll definitely uh, separate those out now. And hopefully this will uh, turn the tables a bit for us. Uh, we are holding our own, but that's about it. <laughs> uh, we're still getting clobbered everywhere, so... Uh, the next thing is the retrofit, and I don't know, even know if they're going to have proper money for that. So that's the next step when we come back next time. So if you're still with me, thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you next time.